tell the people who you are. Yeah, there we go. Intro. Uh, well, I uh, I produce the music for Souls Rest nice. and uh, also do do vocals too. So um, I do the singing because um, we do pretty soulful sounds. So it's not just rap. Um, originally from the UK, but I've been living over here for. I don't know, about 10 years now. Yeah. Nine, 10 years. I, I bet you're pretty happy to not be in the UK these days, right? <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's a lot of drama in the UK. <laughs> that, that, is, that is a place that is uh, doing bad place things right now. So, yeah. 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 So mm. I think this is probably a better place to be right now. But yeah. Yeah. And the last time we saw you it was a couple of years ago. You were just having a, a baby. Yeah. I. I've got four kids. He's always oh. having babies. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Since then? Yeah, okay. Since then. Wow. Wow. Yeah. All right. So, so how long until their first album comes out? <laughs> well, <laughs> my oldest is 11, so I guess. little prodigy. She's thing. learning some piano, so I guess we'll mm. work on it. Well, there but, you go. Well, yeah. I mean, you're already producing for them, so just give them a drum loop and That's right. let them do their thing. Yeah. Yeah. So it keeps me pretty busy with the, the four kids, for sure, but we managed to slot in some music as well, so it's good. I was going to say, how do you balance that between, yeah. you know, four kids? Uh, I'm assuming there's a job in there as well and then music. And yeah. I, ask, I ask myself every time I come down there because I live by myself, like in Mount Pleasant. He's out in Abbotsford. Wow. And I'm all stressed out coming there. <laughs> and he just, he just, he's like compartmentalized. Like he just, mm. he, he homeschools his kids too. Oh, so nice. oh, Holy. So wow. they'll, they'll be doing that. And then all of a sudden he's like, let's hit the studio. And then I'm just like stressed out from my single life. <laughs> I don't really know why. Yeah, right. <laughs> I, I couldn't Whoa. get those sneakers I wanted. Whatever. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, go in the, I go in the studio and he just like locks in, so he's just, he's good at that. Yeah, and he's inspired all the time. So that's awesome. Yeah, as I was gonna say, that's always an eye-opening experience there when you're like, oh man, I'm so busy, and then yeah. you, you run into the friend who's <laughs> actually busy, yeah, yeah, and you're yeah. like, okay, <laughs> I guess I'm not that busy. Yeah, man, it's good, man. Yeah, oh, you just gotta you gotta do your best with a small amount of time. He hustles. Just, yeah, so just get focused and yeah, get no going doubt. On it. Yeah. So for the people who don't really know who you guys are, describe your sound a little bit. I know you said you uh, you sample a bit, but um, yeah, I mean, uh, we kind of we kind of draw from all over the place, but um, I mean, we like soul and R&B quite a bit. And um, our last album uh, came out a few years back was very jazz influenced, so we do draw from that too, right? But we kind of changed sound a little bit recently, just trying out some new things. Yeah, but. Um, yeah, it's, I don't know, it's not straight up okay, hip-hop, it's kind of... He's, he's doing a lot more up. singing, he's a oh, nice. really good MC, um, but um, he can sing too, so I'm doing a lot more of the raps and the nice. new stuff, mm -hmm. and uh, so, so he's, he's, quite, he's quite versatile, he uses logic uh, mm -hmm. to make beats, okay. but um, mm -hmm. we also have uh, one of his old bandmates that used to be a part of Soul's Rest quite a few years back, um, we'll record, he's got a studio in England, so we record like live bass and... Live drums, very cool. so it's, it's got more organic sound. Oh, live bass yeah. and live drums are so good. Yeah, he'll yeah, send it over. Yeah. So adds a lot, rate. Right? So yeah. But the new stuff, what was, what was the the what we were calling it last time that we were together? Electric Soul or no? Was it? I don't know. <laughs> okay, <laughs> it's hard to categorize, yeah. I guess, right? That's but, fair. Yeah. So so do you do everything basically just from the ground up, or do you are uh, do you use a lot of sample bases or? Um, well, we used. Uh, I mean, previously we we did have a DJ who actually moved over from the UK with me. Okay. Uh, but he's actually moved back. So a few Twitter. years ago, yeah. <laughs> DJ <laughs> Philharmonic yeah. shows. Yeah. So uh, we used to use yeah more samples back back then, but now not so much. Everything is kind of made from scratch, right? Okay. So, very cool. Yeah. Well, we should play some music so people know what we're talking about. Show to people. Too, right? Um, what, what, which track would you... We're not actually to? sure what our, oh, okay. our manager sent. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's a good one. Do you know if he sent songs from the vault? That's or some new stuff. Well, maybe we yeah, can put yeah. on a track called uh, These Shoes, if you got oh, that. Oh, these, these Shoes? Uh, well, I have... Um, well, there's two loaded up right now, and I have okay. Close Enough. Okay. And uh, the other one is... One second. Probably since some of the Co music. Cosmonauts, yeah. Yeah, yeah let's, so. well, let's play Cosmonauts. I mean, okay. so this this actually isn't even out yet. Okay. So this is a, a little preview. World so exclusive. exclusive. World exclusive. So you can oh, put nice. that on the... Uh, so this is coming out. Uh, we've shot a video for this, and um, it'll be coming out probably in a couple of months' time, right? So, yeah. yeah. There we go. Cool. Well, we'll get, get that right out there. 100.5 FM, Vancouver Co-op Radio, CFRO. You're listening to the Urban Renewal Project. Uh, 
cosmonauts Space, yeah, I had to explore I've been to the outer edges of the galaxy But I still want more uh, I didn't find what I was looking for Until I saw your form from afar Had to come home to know what I've fallen for Cross heaven but met an angel in a corner Like store. a conquistador. door I'm coming in quick like a common source Claiming new territories before I saw your face in my ship's monitor You threw me in gradually Gravity grabbing me Stardust rapidly Wrapping me Begin tail spin Cause I'm your casualty Put the pieces back together and gather me It's all right Let's take time I'm your satellite And I need to feel your touch tonight Let's take Yeah, universe fast. I blast past ozones, past Saturn, past Pluto to unknown. But all this time I flew alone. I dodged comets, supported asteroids. For the fast boy, cool, lifeless like android. Robotic motions without emotion. Sinking in a diamantine ocean. Going through the motion. I wasted time in orbit. Going round and round till my view got distorted. So I had to forfeit. Mission aborted. Message recorded. Mayday reported. I transported. I'm ready to project without a parachute for you. Going from hand solo to a pair or two. It's never too late to prepare the view. I'm preparing to bore and soar with It's you. It's all right. Let's take flight. I'm your satellite. And I need to feel your touch tonight. Let's take flight. I'm your satellite. And I'm touching down to fall tonight. Oh, babe, I got so tired of stop gazing. I want the real you, not a simulation. Let go down my own. When your love is so damn amazing Crash landed with no thoughts of escaping Drawn to you, your love illuminated Fuck the dark and my heart radiated In my earth, I'm your moon rotating It's all right Yeah Let's take flight Let's take flight Let's take flight I'm your satellite I'm your And I need to feel your touch I'm your satellite Let's take flight Hey, 100.5 FM, Vancouver Co-op Radio, CFRO. This is the Urban Renewal Project. I'm DJ Denise. Red shirt Mike over here. Randy J over here. Yeah, we have Soul's Rest. Yeah. Hey. Hey, hey. That's <laughs> a cool track. Fire. Yeah, very cool. Fire. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a pretty fun video that's coming out for that. So, so uh, for the people who may have just tuned in, when can they expect a video? Uh, well, we haven't got a schedule release date yet, but I think it's probably going to be the spring. So we're looking at March, April. Yeah. But uh, okay. I mean, right. it's all been shot, but it's still got to be edited, and there's going to be a big push for a new album. So that's going to be one of the the videos for it. So March, April's good, but you're on the herb, so you can do better than that. So it's going to be March <laughs> or April. <laughs> let's let's say let's go for March. Let's be optimistic. Go, okay, yeah. okay, I like it. Okay. I like it. Uh, now, are we saying early or late March? Uh-oh. Uh, let's, say, uh, let's say early March. Let's early, say early March? Okay, first yeah. or second week? Uh, <laughs> oh, man. Uh-oh. Just, I'm, I'm just probably listening. Uh, uh, right? Getting get annoyed right now. Uh, <laughs> oh, I, I am fairly certain I have annoyed very many artist managers as they listen to these interviews. We were going to have a meeting with him tonight, but he got sick, so. Mm. Yeah. So that well, just, that's basically licensed to tell us when the video's coming out. Uh, let's, just, let's just say first of March. And, okay, uh, okay. Oh. I like it. I like it. Oh. There you okay. go. Actual dates. That is, uh, that is. We will be holding you to that. <laughs> um, I am uh, going home after the show to schedule or to program a few bots. <laughs> and uh, March second, yeah. if the video is not out yet, uh, I'm sorry. In but you are getting three thousand <laughs> emails, all uh, trying to sell you watches. So you know, <laughs> I don't know why watches, but that's where I went with that. So we'll get, we'll keep it. 
I could use a watch. <laughs> well, it's it's more just to remind you of where the, what the time is. Like, yo, it's past March first. Get this video out, guys. <laughs> no, that's fire though. I really like that track, so I'm excited to see this video. Thanks, yeah. man. Yeah. Yeah, and congratulations. Uh, you were performing at uh, the NY uh, NYE party in uh, the Waldorf. Waldorf. Oh, yeah. dope, dope, dope. Ooh, yeah, tell us about sorry. that. Yeah, New York, New Year's is always amazing, right? Yeah, it was a good time. It was uh, it was like four different rooms, like okay. different themes, and we were in the '90s R&B and hip hop room wow. with uh, DJ Hubs from uh, Beat Street. Oh, okay. DJing. Nice. So uh, it was kind of nice because we haven't performed with our DJ for quite a few years. Mm. So it's kind of having nice having him in the backdrop. backdrop. But it was it was live. We did about a, a just a small set. Nice. But uh, it was a good crowd, and it was good to get out again. That was a good time. And uh, it's been a bit of a sabbatical with us performing on a regular basis since uh, we took a break from our last album. So it's good to get the cobwebs out. <laughs> well, especially, especially when you're that busy, and, you know, right. four kids and well, right. <laughs> get on stage. Which is why yeah. I'm saying you yeah. just need to bring the kids into the group. Oh yeah, and yeah. yeah. make so it some cle- Clearly, the Waldorf will have no problem with four small children uh, right. on a New Year's Eve party. I'm sure, that'd yeah. be fine. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. Uh, honestly, if they have a problem with it, we can just take it to the news, and it'll be a great story. That's true. <laughs> uh, wow. Oh my gosh, that, that was a good time though. No doubt, it's a Waldorf is a fun place. It's uh, especially four rooms like. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. Have have you, you've yeah. been there, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Got, yeah. The upstairs room is you know with the whole like mm-hmm. uh, the, the tiki, tiki bar. bar. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's where they perform. Yeah, we were in the tiki yeah. bar yeah. Down, okay. downstairs. They had seventies funk okay. like live band, okay. and then they had in that oh. really hot and sweaty room. Yeah. It's, all, it's yeah. almost like you're in a <laughs> hot and sweaty room. <laughs> pretty much. Yeah, the one like tucked away in the corner, right? Yeah, it was like it was supposed to be like England, so like EDM music and stuff, and drum and bass, and then up where they have like dinner and stuff, they had like. Um, salsa, salsa dancing. Wow. Oh, wow. Music. They open the place really cool. up. That's nice. So th- sometimes they open up to being outside, too, like in the summer. Yeah. And that, that's we actually really did nice. one thing in the summer, too, with the oh. Waldorf. There was uh, our manager put on this... Uh, 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 like Nacho Libre Luch- style. Yeah, Luchador Wrestling, right? Whoa. Yeah, that was, okay. yeah, it was, was kind of a random yeah, was gig, cool. wasn't it? Yeah, we showed up like kind of late too because uh, something happened in my full-time work when my truck broke down. Uh-oh. So I got there like super late and it was uh, just right after a match, some guy in tights. And, so we just <laughs> get up what? there. So it was good. Yeah. And we just got up there and did our songs. But that was fun. Yeah, that was yeah. good. That actually always seems like it'd be a fun time is performing at a wrestling show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> everyone's, everyone's already a, a little ruckus there, you know what yeah, I mean? People are pretty rowdy already, so we well, weren't yeah, sure. Our, our stuff is a bit more jazzy, mid-tempo, so we weren't sure. We played our hyper songs for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you pretty much got to go as balls to the wall as possible yeah. for yeah. a show like that. Yeah. Let's be honest here. Yeah. You homeschool the kids, right? Yeah. yeah. You run a landscaping company. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> okay, I'm just those two, <laughs> just those two, and then you Mind make music blown. on top. But yeah, what? <laughs> When do you sleep? Yeah, come on. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I, I go uh, once a week to the studio because I'm out in Vancouver. I, yeah. st- I stay overnight for two nights. I'm always tired every morning. He's like up like an hour before me, two hours before me. Whoa. I come upstairs. I'm all tired. And he's <laughs> change, <laughs> changing diapers and all. So like, ready to get, oh, wow. like, ready to get in the studio. Cool. Uh, and he's, uh, he's inspired. So it's, it's there really we go. Uh, it's, it's inspiring to me. All right, not not to stay on that for too long. So I know we got to talk a little bit more about the music, but the uh, the important follow up for this question is, of course, what brand of coffee is it, is it that you're drinking? <laughs> Some fair trade. Some new fair trade. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm not too picky. I just as long as it's got lots of caffeine in, that's okay, good. Yeah, that that is fair. That is basically yeah. my uh, my criteria as well. Is I like the JJ Bean. I used to work for JJ Bean. Oh, nice. Shout out to JJ Bean. Just <laughs> <laughs> doing shout outs. <laughs> yeah, we. Uh, I work over at Anis Island, and unfortunately, over there, your choices are Tim's or McDonald's. Oh man, yeah, that's not too good. I like I'll, McDonald's over Tim's. Yeah, McDonald's coffee is better than it's Tim's. Tea. Which is, oh, you know, embar- say, as, like, as a Canadian, <laughs> as a Canadian, let me just say that the fact that McDonald's has better coffee than Tim's that's is a terrible. national embarrassment. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. terrible. You mean, like, I know Tim's got sold to Burger King, so it's not really Canadian anymore. <laughs> it probably was never really that Canadian to begin with. You know what I mean? I'm pretty sure their food is just packaged in, like, Arkansas and then microwaved when they serve it to you. It's mm-hmm. bad. Mm-hmm. But it's Tim Hortons, damn it. Like, please, <laughs> figure out your coffee. That's all. I'm not even, a- you know what I mean? Like, I'm not even asking you to, like, not look like a dipshit while you're giving me your order. <laughs> I'm not even, like, on that level of standard. Just please figure out a good coffee. I just want to say that. <laughs> yeah, going way off track there. That's your Tim Hortons endorsement. We need it. We need Yo, Tim Hortons that implies that there's That implies that there's only one, but we'll... Uh, right. <laughs> there we go. 
No, I, I, yeah, I wanted to make sure, well, find out too from Soul's Rest. What, what do you expect from 2019? What, what, what's up for, for the year? Well, uh, we've got lots, lots going on. Mm. Um, we've already completed, uh, I don't know, six or seven tracks for a new album. Yeah. Um, we're going to have two or three new videos coming out. Um, we just put out a bunch of stuff too. I mean, um, we we kind of took a break for a little while from the last album, but we had a lot of previously unreleased material. So we shot a few videos for that as well. So we've had, over the last couple of months, we've had three videos come out. Is that uh, right? Yeah, I think four. Four videos come out. We got one coming out next week. So. Nice. Yeah. yeah. So check them out. Obviously, Facebook, you know, Instagram, uh, all the usual places, YouTube. Souls Rest officials on Instagram. Yeah. yeah. But, um... Yeah, we're, we're excited for a new sound and a new new direction, which will be coming out soon. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Um, We've been doing a lot more uh, just in the lab, uh, making music as opposed to performing. So, right, but right. Just, and that's a great body of work. Well, well we yeah. have some more music, too. Um, I, was, I was talking about Close Enough. Yeah. You want to intro, intro Close Enough? Sure. So yes. You want to do that one, Brian? Yeah, yeah it's, it's a little bit more singing. It's sort of a floor-to-the-floor -floor beat, mm. and it's, uh, it's a bit more about relationship based some of our new stuff is a bit more like that nice you know as opposed to our angry old stuff no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm just no. <laughs> it's a bit more relationship stuff mm, okay a bit of a dance oh a bit of a dance yeah. somewhat oh here we go here we go 100.5 FM we'll Let's get into go. it here we go touch me you're so far away you tell me you're so alone but then you hide away Close enough to touch, but you're so far away You tell me you're so alone, but then you hide away We're only inches apart In a simple but lost in the dark And I can hear you crying, babe But you might as well be a million A million miles away they say that no man is an island When I was stuck in a silence Playing these hard streets like a violin Cause we've been broke down but no sound of silence Clown around but your eyes aren't smiling It's quiet now but the inside is violent Set flying by tempest and timeless The night is endless with no light on the horizon Close enough to touch me, you're so far away yeah. You tell me you're so alone hey. and you hide away Touch me, you're so far away You tell me you're so alone yeah. Like we're running down the same path over again Playing pretend, stay in defend Why can't we be free to be sober again? We're holding a gem, it's time to get going again Golden again, let's talk like we can offend Speak our hearts like we can move over and men Just women and men, we're not superhuman So when we break, it's hard to take chances again Close enough to touch me, you're so far away yeah. You tell me you're so alone Hey, you hide away Close enough to touch me, you're so Five FM Vancouver Co-op Radio CFRO. You're listening to the Urban Renewal Project. I'm DJ Denise. Red shirt, Mike over here. I'm Randy J. Yo yo, still chilling with Souls Rest. Yeah, yeah how's how you going? doing? There we go. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Very, very cool much. little track there as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, this guy can sing. Wow, <laughs> yeah, he's, he's quite versatile. 
<laughs> Damn, that's, that's, that's a nice voice, man. Thanks, man. Thank you. Yeah. Dope, dope. Wow. So, so 2019 is upon us. You know, um, do you have any big shows you want to announce, too, that are coming up? Or? We don't have anything right now oh, in the okay. mix. Okay. So, uh, we just... We, we also... Um, we got Ableton Live. Oh, so, right. So, um, we're nice. trying to figure out how to incorporate that a bit more in the live okay. show since we don't have a DJ right now. Right. Add in some loop pedals. Yeah. And uh, also maybe thinking about... Um, live drummer or live um, bass player too okay before we do more shows instead of being like karaoke style which mm-hmm. is like a track yeah so but we're still talking about that with our manager and stuff also our sound too like what venues to play at like when we used to play play at the fan club before oh, they had downtown yeah. and some stuff on commercial drive mm-hmm. falcon eddies and a little more lounges right yeah, you know because yeah, yeah. yeah. it's our sound is a little more loungy. A little more chill. Loungy. Is that yeah, more chilly, yeah, right? Yeah. So, <laughs> chill side. So, but so you we sit definitely. Back vibe too. You guys should go to hotels and stuff. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. It's a big market. <laughs> Cruises, right? cruise ship. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. I'm just playing around. Wow. Just playing around. No, no. That's <laughs> he says just playing around, but. <laughs> yeah. you know, He's thinking about it. All you cruise ship bookers <laughs> yeah. out there, you know who to get at. Right? <laughs> Uh, who do they email? Would they email uh, Chris to get if, if somebody wanted to? Book yeah, if you someone wanted to book you for a cruise ship. Yeah, yeah, M- Mercury, M- Mercury artists. Yeah, <laughs> Mercury management. Yeah, okay. Chris okay. Steffler. There we go. Mm-hmm. Perfect. That's, what if what if it's not a cruise ship? Where do they go? Uh oh. Uh, <laughs> same place, but we might not be as interested. Ah, there. That <laughs> is, oh. yeah. I mean, everyone knows the cruise ship market is just, you know, where you want to yeah, be. Ch- Chuck, yeah. e- Chuck E. Cheese. Chuck E. Cheese. You guys have to bring your kids. Yo, I'm actually, that would actually be the most fun rap video. Like, it's, he's like, I don't, I don't want to see you guys do this video because, like, you guys have, like, not like a rap rap sound, but I want to hear, like, a hardcore, like, a gangster rap track, you know, like, run up on them with the nine. And, like, the video is just in, like, a Chuck E. Cheese yeah. with a bunch of kids just, like, shooting each other with, like, you know, Nerf guns. That'd be, idea, man. That'd be so much fun to do. <laughs> uh, yeah, random thought for the night. We'll go with that. Yeah, I thought of it. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's pretty cool though. Uh, so no shows lined up. You're trying to figure out the live sets. Uh, so outside of the live drummers, sort of what are, are you trying to retool everything from the ground up, or what? Are, is there anything specific that you figured out about your live set that you want to keep? Or yeah, well, I mean, we've been doing it. We did, I think, ten years probably with a with a DJ. So. Um, with him even moving back to the UK, that kind of had to go back to the drawing board a little bit. Yeah, but, um, fair enough. So, yeah, we've always been used to having a lot of cuts, um, you know, in the tracks, a lot of sampling and stuff. So it's kind of been a, a bit of a learning curve for the last few years, just figuring out a new sound and a new direction. So um, I, I think we'd definitely be interested in, in getting some live instruments in, and I think that's the plan. Um, as we go forward here for the live show so yeah Vo- okay. vo- vocally too we're trying to amalgamate more like um, going back and forth mm-hmm. more than ever oh, instead yeah. of just like our last album we do like a 16 bar verse each and then he'd sing the hook but we're trying to just in, mm-hmm. kind of blend Break together a bit more yeah. okay yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a bit more songwriting than just um, as much as we uh, grew up with classic 90s hip hop and stuff mm-hmm. I still really like that a lot but mm-hmm. we're just trying to Mix it up, mix it up a little bit. Yeah. That's pretty cool, though. Uh, so you said live instrumentation in there. Uh, obviously, drums, bass. Yeah. You know, a lot of people have that. Uh, and and let's even exclude like guitar or piano. What what would be like the craziest instrument that you would love to be able to bring into your live set? Like if you found a player, like uh, someone who played this instrument, you're like yo, <laughs> you are now performing with us. You don't have a choice in the matter. Well. I like all kinds of oh, stuff, man. Oh, well, Ben's been learning flute, right? So, <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. I have been learning flute. So, uh, yes. I've been some, at some point, we got to get him to do that. I've been taking it along with Quaid for the last two years. Okay. Because I, I, like, I draw from, I like the diggable planets, like old, really old school stuff, mm-hmm, like mm-hmm. the yeah. 90s hip hop, right? Mm-hmm. So they used to sample a lot of jazz sample, right? Yeah. Okay. In our last album, we had live trumpet player and stuff like that. Very so cool. I st- I want to, I'm learning how to play and then beatbox with the flute, too. Yeah. Oh, loop pedal. So, so. Ooh, who was it? it was the uh, the rapists as they called themselves used to perform with a fl- uh, live flute player oh good I'm not alone which is, uh, <laughs> that was yeah. that was always a, a fun one as well because they had no other instruments oh nice they were just like you know DJ playing their stuff and then uh, a mic set up for the flute and there you go it's a good sound it's it's similar to rapping because uh, 
Are you still using your, your breath control mm-hmm. all the time? Mm-hmm. Um, he plays piano, drums, and all that. And I didn't know how to read music. So I just figured it's easy just tuck in your backpack, throw it out. Oh, <laughs> the yeah. Anchorman reference. <laughs> okay. Yeah. People always refer to Anchorman, the uh, the Will Ferrell movie, right away. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and, and I just think of Anchorman too with the big fights. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's literally all I remember from those movies. Yeah. Uh, it's great though. There was a fantastic, you know, fight scene. There's but. jazz food in there. Oh well, mm-hmm. there you go. Well, I, I wanted to find out from each of you now, Ben and Duncan. What what um, are you listening to individually? Like that that you feel you're kind of taking sound from. Well, um, I always was telling Duncan, you know, uh, Common. Uh, he has a new album called August Green mm-hmm. with Robert Glasper and um, I forget the name of the drummer, but it's it's really good. It's called August Green. I really like that sound. It's quite jazzy. It's a bit more. Um, the hooks are a bit more not melancholy, but they're just like. I'm mm-hmm. um, listening to that. Um, yeah. I listen to another guy, um, uh, and he's still putting stuff out all the time. His name is Mr. Jamin Duris, and he's he used to be with a group in the '90s called the uh, the Percussions. Okay. Uh, and one of the guys from the Percussions, he makes the beats now with on Jimmy Fallon and the mm-hmm. Roots. Yep. He's the guy that is the beat machine. Uh, Stro Elliott. Okay. So I, I listen to uh, lyrically, I like Mr. Jamin Darius and uh, this August Green album is probably the top album I've listened to recently. Just came out in 2018. Nice. Yeah, there was a lot Impressive. of good albums that came out last year. Yeah, Anderson Pack's album. Okay. Yo, I'm still discovering stuff yeah. from last year. Okay. You know what I mean? Because I basically <laughs> look at everyone's like top ten mm-hmm. albums, and I'm like, yo, that crazy. dude dropped an album. <laughs> like I literally just found out a week ago that Black Thought dropped an album in 2018. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, somehow it slipped under the radar, and I've just been listening to that now. Yeah. It's I've it. only checked a bit of it, but I like Black Thought too. He's really good. oh, he's so good. Uh, um, and anytime he's working with the Roots as well, it's super dope. Uh, one of my favorite albums, super underrated, is uh, the Roots uh, with Black Thought and John Legend. Yeah, yeah, that's that was, yeah. Uh, wait, wake up, right? Yeah, yeah. Up. that's a really good album. Yeah, yeah. oh, that was so good. Yeah, there's quite a few people on there. I think uh, Commons on there, and uh, yeah, Pete Rock or Seal Smooth's on there. I think. Mm-hmm. Oh, classic stuff right there. Well, we oh, got to no. get Duncan's favorites, what he's listening to right now. Yeah. We'll make sure. The fro- well, Frozen soundtrack. Oh, oh, <laughs> yeah. oh, yeah. That's on repeat. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just all, day, all day, all day. For the kids. <laughs> with, yeah. with the kids, I don't get too Uh-oh. much time to oh. check out any stuff. Um, I mean, a lot of the, the stuff that we're listening to at the moment is kind of, I don't know what you call it, it's almost neo-soul, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, there's a lot of... Uh, Interest in new artists coming out of the out of the UK actually, right? Yeah. And, um, and Europe, which we've kind of been listening to and drawing from yeah. quite a bit at the moment. I wish I could tell you some names off the top of my head, but I my my uh, my my head when it comes to names is uh, pretty scrambled, right? But I mean, a lot of the same stuff as 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 a Biden, right? Like. Um, yeah, we grew up listening to a lot of the classic 90s stuff, so we still, you know, still like a lot of artists who, I guess, draw from that, right? And uh, and, and work with that, right? But, yeah. Yeah, good. That was good. Uh, w- world music. Mm-hmm. So, you know, all kinds, yeah. kinds of... Yeah. There's this series on YouTube right now called Colors. Okay. And it features... Oh, feature. yeah. Have you yeah. checked that out? Yeah, that, that, yeah. you listen to a lot yeah, of that, yeah. right? Yeah. Some really good good stuff on that right from all America UK all around UK, all but over Europe yeah it's, it's kind of leaning to that sound mm-hmm. cool. the beats aren't extremely um, they have a bit more soul to them a lot right. of yeah. Odyssey's on there you know Odyssey mm-hmm. yeah. good. well we have, we have more, more music too uh, fast fast forward is uh Right. My next track. This is more the party jam. Than oh, we party! Do. Okay. Yeah. Wow. This is old, old school. So old school yeah. party jam. It's yeah. about, it's about moving fun. forward in life. Just going for it. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> bumper sticker song. Well, bumper, bumper sticker, sticker song. <laughs> okay. You can do it. <laughs> <laughs> well, here we go. One hundred point five FM, Vancouver Co-op Radio, CFRO. You're listening to the Urban Renewal Project. <laughs> I got to move round and round we go now Round and round we go now We're living life in stereo Symphonic, certified go from anthems to sonnets Shake up sounds like plate tectonics Sonic so solid that you can jump on it Phonic pictures with no graphics With a wrinkle in the middle of the placid A single stone thrown makes rapids We press play while they stay passive 
take you smooth feet in the pivotal yeah. Automatic, weak, cold, subliminal uh -huh. Plug in, coat us original Suffer the sound and pump off the signal Technocratic, opiate for the masses uh -huh. Water down, sounds love drown in the panic Musical mechanics, tools to suit havoc We press play while they stand static I'm on the fast forward, but you always press the wine So round and round we go now Round and round we go now I'm looking for something good, but you're always looking for fun. So round and round we go now, round and round we go now. I got to move. Y'all the old tape deck, wanna hit side B, flip cassette, every time I hit play, you hit eject, you hold back while I push your head, so retro from the get-go, can't let go, chewed up in the loop, can't get no, mono to stereo, your dynamo that's overflow, what's a classic? One man's gold is another man's plastic uh -huh. Put it on a pedestal, then watch it vanish One hit wonder, I wonder how they stand it Lost in a panic, artless or candid It's a tug of war between starters and standard Fans stand avid, transatlantic We press play while they stand steady I'm up the fast forward, but you always press the wine So round and round we go now Round and round we go now I'm Something good, but you're always stuck in my mind. So round and round we go now. Round and round we go now. I got to move. from African Vibes, uh, inviting you to join us every Sunday on our show here on uh, 100.5 FM CFRO, Vancouver Cooperative Radio. We focus on Africa and the African diaspora and all aspects thereof from the political, the social, the economic, and the entertainment aspect of it. We have a grab bag full of music that we play every Sunday. I hope you enjoy both the message and the music. You can hear us every Sunday night from 7 to 9 p.m. That's on 100.5 FM CFRO Vancouver Cooperative Radio. And the show is African Vibes. Hey, hey, 100.5 FM Vancouver Co-op Radio CFRO. You're listening to the Urban Renewal Project. I'm DJ Denise. I'm Richard Mike. I am Randy J. And Souls Rest, we are chilling with the homies. Yeah, just yeah. chilling. Wow, yes, you're right. Party track. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> no, nice. <I> <laughs> oh my gosh. Feeling it, feeling it. Now, so are you following what's happening in the United States at all? Or, or uh are you? I, yeah. Okay. Yeah. He's a bit more oh. uh, political than me. I think mm. it is yeah. both an amazing and a terrible time for political minded people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's been I, a university, uh, so I, 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 did, I did a degree in history and politics. So yes. like, yeah, oh boy! Kind of wow. I yeah. just watch it from a distance. But. Yeah. So, what's your take on what's going on down there right now? Oh man, uh -oh. <laughs> it could be controversial. Very, very open-ended question, <laughs> oh. but let's go. Well, <laughs> I, 
I don't know. It's like a soap opera, right? Mm. It's uh, a little crazy. Just like Empire. <laughs> yeah. Just like Empire. I'll bring that right back. Yeah. Damn. Um, it's more interesting than Empire, I'll tell you that. Okay. Yeah. Oh, somebody's uh, calling us. Fired. Okay, yeah. Yeah, keep keep going with yeah, that. Keep, Listen. Yeah, so, always so, going. So, yeah, so give us a little bit about your uh, yeah your take on what's going on beyond it just being a soap opera. Uh, well, I guess, I guess it's kind of a shame because I think... Uh, I, no one basically wants to work with each other anymore. I think it's just got to do with uh, party politics rather than what's good for uh, the population in general, right? No okay. one's willing to compromise or work together, so I think that's kind of... Why do you think that is? Sad. Well, probably because it, well, it's got a lot to do with Trump. That's <laughs> 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 a pretty divisive figure, right? So... Um, yeah, I think yeah, I think both groups are you know too busy trying to stick it to each other, really, rather than kind of getting down to business, which is what you should be doing as a politician. Is you're supposed to be serving the community and serving your people, right? And uh, it's a shame when it comes about you know trying to point and score with the other the other party, the other person. So yeah, yeah I wish they'd get on with it. And yeah, what what do you think of the uh, the new wave right now of uh, brand new congressmen and women? Uh, uh, that were elected back in November and are just starting to hit Congress now. Oh, I think, yeah, I think it's great. I mean, I think it's great that it's obviously there's more women being represented in Congress, I think, than ever before, right? Yeah. And um, and, all sorts uh, of firsts as well. Yeah, I think minorities and mm -hmm. things too. So, yeah, it's good. I mean, yeah, uh, you need to hear from more voices if you're going to represent the people, right? Um, it's not possible if uh, kind of only one people group or, or whatever is represented in the corridors of power, I guess. So, I think that's a positive. Um, but yeah, I just, you know, I mean, I it's have not, a, quick, yeah. a political question. Mm -hmm. um, what do you think about the uh, the voting system, um, like the, how they do the electoral college uh, versus the popular vote? Because mm -hmm. they're they're uh, people are pointing out like. Uh, like Hillary and like a few other presidents have won the popular vote, yeah, but then lost in the electoral, co electoral well, college. Yeah, it's a problem in a lot of systems, even here in Canada. Is that um, it's not as simple as you know uh, your vote. You know, it's just one vote counts, right? It's it's not like that. It's uh, a lot of times you can be elected to to uh, to lead a country um, uh, with a minority vote, right? So, yeah, like the, the liberals right now got, or the last election got what, 40% of the yeah. vote and have 100% of the power? Yeah, so it's all, always a bit of a problem. I know the argument is, is that it produces, you know, strong government, so they have a mandate and they can kind of get things done. Well, that's debatable lately. But, but that is debatable. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I, I prefer a system like you have in like maybe Germany where it's proportional representation. It's just very simple. It's just, you know, everybody's vote counts and... Um, if you get 30% of the votes, then you have 30% of the seats in the in the parliament, right? Which makes a lot of sense. And, and people have to work together then because there's never any party that has more than 50%, right? So yeah. I think it's uh, it makes politics a little bit less uh, childish, right? Um, people have to compromise and work together rather than, you know, always throwing out insults at each other. So, yeah. yeah. I think there's a lot for us to be looking at the Germans for because they... Uh They've been sort of the picture stability as everyone else has gone to hell in the handbags uh, about the last five years or so. Oh, my gosh. It's been, it's been, it's been wild, man. Yeah, yeah. You I'm know, between sure. uh, the UK and, and Brexit, and yeah. that's been fun to watch. Mm -hmm. as, as someone with absolutely no vested interest in the UK, it's fun to watch. I'm sure with, with like, all my friends who are, uh, you know, dual citizens, oh, they hate it, which is great. Um, yeah. Well, my, all my family's still out there, so, yeah, it's a little interesting for them, but, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, so is that there's uh, the U.S. is what is this day 18 I think of oh, the garbage right. shutdown right now. <laughs> they, yeah. yeah, the days yeah. are piling up. Yo, I don't know. If you, I don't know if you, yeah, the garbage is piling up <laughs> at the uh, and people uh, aren't getting paid. Yeah. Mm. Oh man, it's Damn. crazy down there right now. Mm. Okay. Now, how important <laughs> is your message right now? Are, are you are you all steering to a, a message in in the the party tracks and the you know? Um, yeah. I mean, I, I think the theme of the lyrics at the moment is uh, I guess a, a lot of it's about relationships right okay okay yeah. so um, just yeah there's been some ups and downs I mean without going into detail in those in those areas right and um, so that's coming out in the music and just uh, you know also just 
uh, with with our DJ leaving and stuff, that was completely unexpected. We were halfway through a new album and uh, we got grants for the album, all sorts of stuff. So that was tough as well. So it's kind of just about, I guess, getting started again, right? And yeah. uh, and uh, recalibrating, recalibrating, and trying to be positive and and push through stuff and uh, you know using music as kind of a a format for that, right? So yeah, <laughs> that's fair. So mm. all right. You know I have to ask us follow up. Uh, there's relationships, ups and downs. So the natural question is, which one of your exes gets it worse than this album? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not my ex. I'm going to say that because I'm I'm still happily married with the four kids. So okay, <laughs> it'd be, yeah, be kind of awkward if you were singing about your ex at this point. Yeah, yeah. No, it would be a bit of a problem. But um, no, it's just even even like I was saying with our vocals, we're trying to. Uh, kind of like blend together even like the, the uh, concepts of the song a bit more yeah okay. r- rather than just like um i spit my verse and it's all about my life we're trying to like yeah. some of the stuff i've been through he'll on the hook he'll be like singing on behalf of me and then vice versa if he comes up with a hook i try to write lyrically about stuff like that yeah. stuff we've never really done before because it's not really a classic hip-hop way to do it but mm. we're trying to make more songwriting right so yeah uh, dope uh, well yeah we have more music I, I wanted to get into uh what's this one uh take these shoes is that yeah these shoes this so, got a bit oh, more is this called these shoes yeah so this this just came we just did a video for this so that's that's been out i don't know about a month right mm. yeah um and yeah this this track's actually uh kind of inspired by um, fair trade and social justice so nice. um, just the idea of, of putting ourselves in the position of other people right and um, trying to think about the impact that we have with our decision making right so yeah well here we go 100.5 okay. FM Vancouver Corp Radio CFRO you're listening to the Urban Renewal Project yeah yeah Yeah, my life is a life of consequence. Uh, yeah, it's common sense that if you bruise the gifts that were given you, then you live to rule the consequence. My consonants and verbs gotta be put together to sever the nerves. Cause it takes a bold man to admit that he swerved. Not being the character that you deserved. Hey, you and me in comparison. Uh, it's embarrassing. You got the weight of the world on your shoulders. But you still smile with the load that you're carrying, carrying the everyday stress of managing. Hunger hovers like vulture circle carrying, but you scrape a living carrying me when it's you that I should be carrying. Gonna take these shoes and lace them up tight, then I might feel what it's like to be you, to be you for one night. I'm gonna take these shoes and lace them up tight, then I might feel what it's like to be you. Yeah, 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 my surplus is tangible to touch, but it's also like a Van Gogh brush. To see from a better angle, strangles and stuff I hold on tight to, so why even fuss? Everyone knows my shell toes prefer breaking But what if one night your shoes I was lacing? Feet aching to bring home the bacon You do me a favor when you labor without payment Properly, I just live on different property Therefore, to care for your economy feels distant Like a geographic distance Wishing to love your neighbor was a misprint Cause I got problems in my own world, malignant Spreading throughout my thinking But love's intent is so intense It calls to hop the fence Adopt your footprints, the walk with the never I'm gonna take these shoes and lace them up tight Then I might feel what it's like to be you To be you for one night I'm gonna take these shoes and lace them up tight Then I might feel what it's like to be you To be you for one night I'm gonna take these shoes and lace them up tight Then I might feel what it's like to be you To be you for one night I'm gonna take these shoes and lace them up tight Then I might feel what it's like to be you Hey, hey, you, for one 
Inside Story on Co-op Radio 100.5 FM. Listen and reason with Aisha every second Monday from 4 to 5 p.m. Lend your ears and thoughts on topics such as humanitarian issues, social justice, activism on homelessness, poverty, injustice here at home in Canada and around the globe. This story comes to you every second Monday from 4 to 5 p.m. on Co-op Radio 100.5 FM. Hey, hey, 100.5 FM, Vancouver Co-op Radio, CFRO, you're listening to the Urban Renewal Project. I'm DJ Denise. Red shirt. Mike over here. I am Randy J. Yes, and we have Soul's Rest. Oh, well, peace is up. Well, peace is a Soul's Rest. You've seen <laughs> the, list, the last half of Soul's Rest here, but mm, yeah. Duncan's chilling. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for hanging with us. So that we, we, lo- we love this. Um, but yeah, the, the show's almost coming to an end, but we're really happy to have you. And we want to make sure that your social media gets out. I think mm-hmm. you mentioned um, um, uh, Chris's uh, email, how to book you all. But yeah. how, how can we, people follow you online and get your music? Yeah, I mean, just honestly, just shove Soul's Rest in Google and it will all, mm. the first five or six hits there are all our social media. So pretty easy, right? So... It's every everything has the the handle Souls Rest. So yeah. is that one word? Uh two words. Mm. Two words. Yeah. Mm. So yeah, if you sh- if you throw that in, our website will come up. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Bandcamp. I don't know what else there is out there. Tons of Spotify, Spotify, mm. iTunes, whatever. So yeah, just throw in Souls Rest in Google. It's probably the easiest Napster. way. Yeah. Oh, Napster. Napster. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> somebody mentioned that the <laughs> other day. Showing like, your age there, man. <laughs> Napster. I do that all the time. Napster, yeah. yeah, that's dope. That's dope. <laughs> and um, for you, too, are you doing uh, individual things too, Ben? Or um, I, I was I was about a year and a half ago. Mm, I was just okay. putting out these um, singles. But um, I'm just doing a full time with Duncan A. Sun right now. Nice, mm-hmm. nice. But um, yeah. Amazing. Occasionally I hit up the open mic at the Anza Club. Oh, okay. Thursdays? Yeah, oh, occasionally. Okay. I just live up the street from there, so cool. there's a lot of good guys that come out there. Yeah. Where, where is Shout it? Out. Where is it? Uh, uh, the Anza Club. Mm-hmm. It's on Ontario and uh, just down the hill from Sorry. Broadway. Yeah. Shout out to Anza. They've done a lot of supporting BC hip hop over the years. Yeah, a lot of guys. Detour and the uh, mm. sort of guys. Cabby and all these guys. Oh, Alex yeah. Mayer used to put it on. On Thursdays. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah they're, they're still doing the Thursday out. nights. Yeah, yeah at least I think so, yeah. Clock, they, they clockwork. Sh- they now. shut it down for a bit. Yeah, clockwork. Yeah, yeah. clockwork's nice. taking over now. Yeah. Those guys. Oh, okay. So occasionally I go shut down up. there. Yeah, that's dope. Uh, we still have some more music to play too. Um, if you would like to intro uh, "Better Weapons," the remix. Yeah. So this is uh, this is the title track from our album back in 2013. Um, did pretty well with that album, right? Like, it charted top 20 in Canada, mm-hmm. non-commercial radio, and um, got it on much music and a few different TV locations, right? Yeah. And uh, so the thought was kind of, wh- when we were kind of getting back together and um, getting going again, was to just take one of the tracks from that album, because people mm-hmm. kind of knew it a little bit already, and just do a remix of it, so... That's what this is. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Oh it's a bit more on the dance theme, too, just to hit that market. Yeah, it's a little yeah. bit more modern, maybe, but yeah, it's probably about as modern as we get. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You get to laugh on that. Okay. Yeah. Well, love it. Love it. <laughs> so here we go 100.5 FM, Vancouver Co op Radio, CFRO. You're listening to the Urban Renewal Project. <laughs> I am my mind like a gun Feels like a better weapon Like a better weapon, yeah It go left, right, left, right They march in jackboats through the night yeah. Army fatigue, sir, to keep the character hidden Just another clone on a repetitive vision Only seeing in soup, dimensional vision The need to be seen to make a visibly wisdom The prisoner living in mind, just mind states 
go with fat on provisions of pop culture mandate. A man make a fan base if the fans race in one direction. The selection is crank raised, elevated like neon signs. We are not mere beyond praising these shrines where many designs, many different kinds, constantly coloring outside of the lines. Everybody snapped out of it, getting the ties. Conformity normally wears a disguise and mask it. Identify who is the enemy It's the end of me Beginning a new thing There's no identity Crisis Life ain't a time for lifeless Routines to see Through these things Advice us Individual visual sight Incredible Let fill our minds And it define us Rhyme and timeless Inside the blinders They want a uniform To confine us So form forms Beyond solid dimensions Clench your fists With this overwhelming tension Stretch tight like elastic The apprehension Of being in between Two forces directing Leads to an inevitable question The choice pre-snaps of invention the thrill of hope for the sting of rejection the love of things or the quest for perfection Same old routine, I know a place we can go to uncover the dream. It's not in the lines, it's in the space in between. Cause what's said is only 10% of the theme. I use my fire. Souls rest. Please say goodnight. We, we did get your social media, but you can share it again. Sometimes people are just tuning in. Yeah. You yes. never know. It's uh, Souls Rest Official on Instagram, and then it's uh, Souls Rest Spotify, and then the just, website. Yeah, shove in Souls Rest in Google. You'll get everything mm. there right Fire. at the top. Pretty easy. Yeah. But yeah, thanks for having us on again, guys. Yeah, thanks, Denise and yes. Mike. Second and time. Randy. Yeah. Appreciate yeah. it. Nice to meet you guys. Yeah. Soon, yeah. yeah. Definitely. And and uh, for booking, too? Um, yeah, so Merc- Mercury Artists, um, check it out there. You can get in touch with our manager. And yeah, Chris yeah. Steffler is a manager. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Yes. Thanks so much. It's great to see you all again. It's it's so different. We actually moved yeah, and then come before. back. Yeah. And, and, then, yeah. and you, you basically came here before we moved. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Returning full circle. Right, right. right. It's amazing. Yeah. Amazing. And, and new music, new sound. That's, that's, that's mm-hmm. so cool. And, and um, good luck in 2019 also. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Fire thank you. music, yeah. guys. Fire music. Yeah. Love yeah. what I Love heard that. today. Yeah. Yeah. We, we want to pump that on, on our show, too, so good. we'll make sure you, you, you find out. we got some spins over here. Oh, yeah. Great. Thanks. So, all right. I think we are out of here. It's the end of that. Yeah. Bye.